Hello, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Hi. Um, yeah, maybe give me 10, 15 minutes. Thank you so much. Hello, Tiz. Hello, Alexis. Hi, Tropical. Hi, Miss Estrada. Hi, Strawberry Milk. Hi, Lindsay and Noni. And Aiden and User63. And Danielle. Hi. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Cassidy. Hi, Danielle and Kara and Meg. And Lozen and Carissa and Britt and oh no, it's freezing. Dang, why is it freezing? It keeps freezing, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. We'll see if it freezes again. I'm not sure what's. Okay. Let's see if this lasts. I restarted my phone. Seems to be a good connection so far. If it goes out again, we'll go somewhere else. Hello, Caddy Pate. Hello, Tiz. That, I am back. Hello. Hello, Andy. Hi, Rhonda. Are we good? Much better? Okay. Seems that all I needed to do was restart my phone. So far, so good. Hello, Afi. Hi, Karina. Hello. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, B. Hi, Amparo. Hi, Bailey. We see the earrings? Yes, you may. Look at these. They're like, uh, I don't know if, if Lila's here or not. Hi, Jen. These are, um, I know, right, Caddy Pick? These are a uh, balloon animal. It's like it's a balloon animal dog. Lila got them for me. And Jen's got uh, this shirt for me. So it's a double, it's a double outfit day for very nice gifts. Thank you, Bailey. Hello, Amy. Hi, everybody. Okay, wow, I'm surprised. Just turned my phone on and off again was all it took. And here we are now. Hello, everybody. Hi, Amber. Thank you, Maddie. Okay, so I'm hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and read this menu really quick. First, I need a drink. Um, they have horchata. They've got almond horchata, strawberry almond horchata, agua fresca lemonade, OJ, and a Shirley Temple. Uh, as well as the Topo Chico, various mocktails. I think I want a horchata. Right? That seems like the move, right? Um, oh no, not again. No. It's lagging again, isn't it? It's la did it lag again? It lagged again, didn't it? We might just have to go somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Little lag, but not bad. Okay, we'll see. If it, if it lags again, we're gonna probably go somewhere else. Um, it's fine for kicking Ella. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, horchata, for sure. We want horchata. Definitely we want horchata. Um, okay, fine, good, 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 good for you. I'm glad, I'm glad. if it's not lagging for you, perfect. Perfect, thank you, Steffi. Um, okay, so we got horchata, definitely. Um, I'm going to read you the rest of the menu, okay? Because I'm actually quite hungry. Appetizers, chips and salsa, uh, with red salsa, tomatillo salsa, and mango salsa. Homemade guac with queso fresco. That's good. Esquite, which is uh, grilled corn, sour cream, and queso fresco. Now... I forget if esquite is the one where it's on or off the cob. I forget. I want it off the cob. Off, not on. Um, not that I wouldn't get it if it was on, but it would ideally it would be off. Okay, good. Uh, queso fundito, which I guess is like things to dip chips in. Uh, ceviche, which is like fish and lime juice and stuff. Um, oysters, soup, but it's too hot for soup today. Uh, salads, I got a shrimp salad and a house salad. Uh, they also have a bunch of sides. Okay, here we get into the entrees. Uh, we have a New York steak, not here, not today. Um, a grilled salmon, could be good. Fajitas with all different kinds of variations. 
Elotere. Um, enchilados, and there's four per, per order. They've got shrimp, carne asada, carnitas, mole, vegetarian. Could be good. Um, tortas. What are tortas again? Sandwiches. They're sandwiches. Got it. With beans, queso fresco, escabeche. I don't know what that is. Uh, guacamole and tomatoes. Thank you, yo. It's, oh. God, you had given me the, I remember we were at Coqueta when you said how to pronounce your name. And you said it's pronounced like two letters. Like, e, like Zio or something. I need, I need one more time. One more time. Let me know how it's, uh, y'all, the more you say, le oh, God, yeah, I lost connection. Okay. Yeah, it's lagging. Okay. All right. We're going to, we're going to have to go somewhere else, sadly, because we can't be lagging through the whole stream. <laughs> Sorry about this. All right. Very sad. We're going to move. All right. What time is it? 2.49. Off we go. I know, I know, I know. I think I got everything. Nope, my purse. Purse is important. Purse, I would say, pretty important. This is the only Mexican food in the area that I am aware of, at least ones that would be open right now. Um, they don't have Wi-Fi, not that I'm aware of. Also, that Wi-Fi might not be any good, and you gotta go find other things. Okay. Mm. Cool. All right. Off we go. Now it should be good. It's all good now, I know. It was just like a weird reception spot, sadly. Okay. Um, oh, that will happen when your battery drops on the ground. I'm all over the place today, y'all. Well, so few can say things. I'm listening to you right now. Thank you, AC. Um, okay, off we go. Uh, so there's Italian that we've had before. It's pretty good. They make their own pasta and stuff. Uh, CO, got it. Thank you. Sorry. I, I was like, I knew it was like, it's like this, like the letters. And I was like, oh, yeah, see it. Cool. Um, off we go. So, Italian, we could do. Um, it's like a weird time. I, I was very much counting on that one place, sushi. So the thing about Mondays in San Francisco is that so many restaurants are closed on Mondays. Why? I don't know. Um, also, even when it's not Monday, a lot of restaurants tend to um, close between like 2 and 5. And it is almost 3. So it's like right in the area where restaurants are the least likely to be open. Um, that being said, we can try something. We could also go have French food. French food actually could be the move here. Um, French food could be the move because I know they're always open. Um, thank you, Tara. Close so they can restock. I don't think that's how that works. I think it's probably just because they have less area, or less area, less, um, like, business on them, is my guess. Um, so the options are, uh, number one, French, which is sit down. Number two um, would be, we could get a, a big old pizza and eat it in the park. Thank you, Ali. Um, I don't know what else is open at this point. Probably not much. Uh, nothing that would be table service, at least. Um, but the, here's the thing about the pizza. The pizza would be, like, not... The pizza would be, um, like, in the park. We wouldn't be sitting down anywhere. And French, we, I, I, say, I say let's go French because there's a menu. We can sit down. Thank you, Fultzy. That'd be nice. French is outside, too. It's just outside. Um, here, let's, let's walk across the street first, actually. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go see about French. And we've been there before, and they're very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. French. French, French, French. Francais. Um, 
Hello, queen. Escargot. I think they have escargot. I'm pretty sure they do. If they have it, we're getting it because I love escargot. Love escargot. All right. Bye, Ashley. Someone's doing a lot of metal work over here. A lot of like welding. It smells like welding. We could also do Italian. That's another option. They have pizzas and pastas here. We do a lot of Italian though, so I'm 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 uh, tempted to go French. I know. Can you say hi, Nuts? Oh, this is Missy and Enzo. Oh, sorry, he's coming right up. I hope that's okay. That's fine. Missy and who? Enzo. Enzo, hi, Missy and Enzo. Nugget. He's a little nugget. Oh, hi. Hi, Nugget. You're being so sweet. Yeah, he's a cutie boy. Normally, I also wear a lot of denim, so we te we typically match with it. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like uh, it's like you don't want to uh, get them. I have had dogs in strollers growl before because it's like their little space. It's their know? space. So. He 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 is. He, as long as he looks at me and I give him the okay, it's like pretty good. Oh, How old are these? These two. Um, they're both rescues, so she's probably oh like anywhere from six to eight. Six and, to eight. Yeah, and he. This is Missy. Hi, Missy and, and this Enzo. Is Enzo. Hi. Where'd you get them from? Uh, she is from Hearts for Paws, which is Hearts based, for Paws. Uh, based in Davis, and he. Oh, oh sorry, we're blocking. No, it's okay. so sorry. Oh, sorry about that. He's from um, a rescue that's not doing too much right now because they're called love dogs. What are they called? They're called love dogs. Love but I don't dogs? think they've been, I think they kind of taken a hiatus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet Where's you. Where's Megan from? Uh, Muttville. Oh, wow. I forgot I was wearing it. Someone was like, I have that sweatshirt. And I was like, what? I'm not You're a Muttville oh. fan. I volunteer there, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've not volunteered oh, there. No. Really great, yeah. They're so good. Yeah, yeah. I usually do Thursdays with Jen. Um, yeah. yeah awesome. Alice was the person I know there. Alice, oh yeah, Alice. Yeah. yeah. No, they're real. They're really sweet there. They're awesome. They do I, such good work. I actually went to uh, stream there, like I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I don't. The camera isn't pointing at you. Um, but uh, they. I was just, I didn't think I was going to adopt. I had lost my other senior like a, a, less than a year before. Yeah. I just wanted to stream there, but he just came and sat on me and it was like, oh, okay. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Oh, precious. What was his name? Yeah. Uh, his name was Hayward. But then I, I, what I did with my last dog was it was Finch in the shelter and then I named him Finn. Finn yeah. So I went for. Similar to, like, she was sis, and I named her Missy. Sis to Missy. Like, apparently they don't, you can, and especially at Muggle now I know, because I do intakes for them. Yeah. Like, they, the dog might have been called something totally different, and then just in the Muggle system, they're trying to, like, uh, you know, keep it, like, identifiable. Yeah, so yeah, they'll yeah. be like, oh, we've had 45 fellas, like, let's right. do, yeah. like, Winston or something yeah, cool, which is kind of common, too. And yeah, that's sense. why you see, like, the names are a little crazy sometimes. Yes. Because it's like, uh, how many, like, white Eagle, um, yeah, like Bella's gonna have so. Yeah, that I hear that. So cute. Yeah, Nugget. Nugget was, and then, but I named him Howard. So technically, his first name is Howard. His Christian name is Howard. Yeah, right. Yeah, distinguished. Yes. Yes. But now this he's just Enzo the Baker. Enzo the Baker. What's up, buddy? Missy, dog. Missy and Enzo. Hi. They're just both very. No, he's okay. If he growls, that's on him, not on y'all. Good boy and girl. Oh, so cute. Are you in the area generally? or a mission. It was such a nice day. I was like, we're going to do a walk and get some get some food, get some grub. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do you have an Instagram or anything we can follow the dogs on? No? Are you social at all? Do the social media? Good for you. I know. Good for you. But apparently, like, yeah, I feel like YouTube has this thing I didn't realize is it's like a TikTok essentially. Oh, the shorts, yeah. Yeah, and I was like looking for something and I was like, that's not it. And then I was like, wait, what is this? What is this? And I, so now in the last couple of weeks, I like, and I'm like, oh God, I gotta stop. So yeah, but yeah. I'm off social. Um, I, you know, do you have social? I do have social. Are you streaming? Yes. <laughs> Is Nugget? Nugget is a part of it, yes. Is, are, is he a famous dog I should know He about? is a famous dog that you should know about, 100%. Nugget, 
Uh, we're, we share, so it's Lily Tino. I can write it down for you if you like, but L I L Y T I N O. Yeah, or L I L L Y. L I L Y. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so cute. And what's your name? Kat. Kat, yeah. I'm a public only cat. Thanks for being here. Yeah. All right, well, good little walk. We're going to get our pasta. Okay, pasta well, enjoy your pasta. Oh, yeah. And feel free to DM me. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. See ya. She was cute. She was cute. Rizzler, I'll take it. Also, yes, now there is a stroller emote. If you are subscribed, you can now use this, the official Stroller Nation emote. But yeah, she was very sweet and cute. And Dog Mom volunteered at a shelter. Immediate interest from Lily. Yes, there is a new nugget emoji. I'm glad, you, I'm, yeah, it was a very wholesome interaction. All right. Let's see how the French place is vibing today. How are the vibes of the French place? So far, so good. We got a table that would be pretty good for us. I think I'm here for it. All right. Can I sit out here? Thank you. You're welcome. I need to make a lentil emoji. Oh my gosh, we need a lentil emoji. Is there a lentil emoji or something like it? Thank you very much. All right. I'll get you in a second, Nugget. Come here. All right, let me get my, let me get you here. Okay. Hi. All right. What are we eating? We're eating French food, apparently. That's the move. Lily got game, of course. Yesterday. Of course, Lily got game. Of course, Lily got game. Come on now. Who do you think I am? Of course, I got game. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay, we have we have officially sat down at our restaurant. See, the connection seems to be good, which is great. Um, I think a couple gifts came through while we were trying to find a, um, uh, a place to eat. Um, uh, Joanne, Joanne Lees Joanne Lease sent $5. Thank you. And hello, Michaela from Australia. Hello. Um, Joanne, Joanne Lease sent $5 and said that they're on a flight to Florida. So glad I can watch you with a red heart. Well, thank you, Joanne. Um, I must say, I, I think that's great that um, whatever Wi-Fi you're using is being used for TikTok. That makes me happy. Um, someone is watching me on a... I don't know if we've ever... Has anyone ever watched me on a plane before? Is this a first? It could be. Nugget does have a jean jacket. He does have a jean jacket. Uh, I know, it's very cute. Um, hello, Brooke. Yes, it has been a while. Hi. Um, mods, please pin. What show did I see on Saturday? Did I see a show? Oh yeah. Um, I saw, um, what was it called? Judge John Hodgman, which was a podcast recording. Uh, I've watched you on a plane. Okay. It wasn't the first Lauren. There we go. Love it. Um, thank you, Brooke. Yeah. Judge John Hodgman. Uh, if you know, if you, if you like Google John Hodgman, he was the, if you remember the Mac PC ads from like the early two thousands, like I'm a Mac, I'm a PC. He was the PC. Um, and he, she does like a lot more behind the scenes stuff now. Hello, Nicole. Um, would I be in a romantic person with an ace, rom romantic relationship with an ace person? Well, I kind of am right now. Emily is ace. Um, hey, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, but like not, but like again, oh, oh, excuse me. Could I have a bowl of water for my dog? Thank you. Um, so. But like also that doesn't, just because you're ace doesn't necessarily mean physical intimacy is off the table, if that makes sense. Um, so yes and no. Like if that were definitely off the table 100%, then it would be a, it would probably be a deal breaker, but um, that's not always. 
I haven't had food. Am I poly? Yes, I am polyamorous. Yes. Um, so, anyways, uh, thank you, Joanne. I think that was the only one. I think that was the only one. Yes. Um, so, anyways, should we read the menu? What's Ace? Uh, can someone say it in? Well, I can't say the word out loud, not because it's like a bad word or anything. Seeing your hair makes me confident to have mine. Good, Ellie. That's awesome. I'm happy to be a good hair model. Hair role model? Whatever it is. Um, thank you so much. Perfect. All right, here we go, Ned. Want some water? Want some water? They put water on the ground for him. Thank you, Rocky. Would I be in a monogamous relationship? That would, that, uh, probably not anytime soon. Probably not anytime soon. Thank you, A25. Thank you, Yeet Boys. Nuggets drink. You good, bud? More water? You good where you are? Okay, come on back up. Nugget got some water. Ah. All right. Shall we read the menu? Thank you for subscribing, Bailey. Make sure you join the Discord. I was streaming for like an hour on Discord while we were getting these nails done, by the way. Thank you to Christian Jackson for paying for these nails. Christian Jackson su suggested ombre, and we got ombre, and they are super cute. Super cute. I feel like I'm cheating if I'm poly. Well, uh, by the definition of poly, you're not. Uh, so you don't need to feel that way. But I can see why on the outside looking in, it might feel like that. Uh, okay, <clears throat> here we go. French menu. They have baguette and butter, which we will have to start with for sure. Um, soup of the day, I don't know what that is yet. They also have a French onion soup. They have uh, baked camembert with garlic and toast points. They have escargot, which seems obvious that we'll have to get that. Charcuterie, um, lamb sausage, beef tartare. I don't know why it's either 15 or $20. This is probably something extra that they put on that adds $5 extra. Um, they have a bunch of salads, goat cheese salad, Caesar salad, endives, niçoise, green salad, frise, mixed salad, a lot of salads. Uh, I, I love French onion soup too. They have a bunch of paninis. They have a burger, like a house burger with fries or salad. Um, they also have a chicken burger, a fish burger, and an impossible burger. Um, they have entrees, they have uh, petrosol, grilled salmon, veal, pork chop, half chicken, duck confit, uh, steak, uh, mac and cheese, fettuccine and carbonara, would be good. They have crepes, which are buckwheat crepes, so those are technically galettes. Um, uh, so they're like kind of like heartier crepes. Escargot, we got escargot. I think a crepe sounds like a good move. They've got a ham and Swiss, an egg. They've got potato one, mushroom, smoked salmon. I think the complete crepe sounds good. Um, they also have le moule, which is, I think, mussels. Um, they got a cheese plate. They got a bunch of sides. Yeah, let's see. Duck confit. Eh, eh, maybe. Potatoes gratin with, heart, with green beans and port reduction. That's uh, of the entrees. That sounds really good. Um, I think. Or, or, do we want to do escargot? Are we happy with escargot? Oui, oui, j'adore. Oui, oui. I could do French onion soup instead. I'm, I'm, I'm down to do French onion soup over escargot. I'm also down to do a salad. Fiona says French onion over escargot. Let's uh, let's do a um, let's do a poll. Keep in mind that I like both of them. Um, I'm not maybe like five ten more minutes. Thanks so much. Um, okay, let's do a poll. Okay, so smile for escargot, frown for what's the other one? French onion soup. Smile for escargot, frown for French onion soup. Smile for French for escargot, frown for French onion soup. Pretty close. I suppose we could just do, I think we might've done this last time where we just did like a series of appetizers. We could do both. We could do like escargot, 
than soup. The thing about soup is that it's it's pretty hot out. Like it's like 70 degrees out, so maybe like high 60s. So I'm not like particularly needing soup right now. So I would probably go, but also like we could just do a salad to start. Like what if we did a, um, we could do like a Niswa salad with seared ahi tuna, olives, peppers, green beans, potatoes, eggs, tomatoes, artichoke hearts, radishes, mustard, and sherry vinaigrette. Do that. Or even like the frise could be good. What do we think? Escargo one, okay. Escargo is very good. Um, so if we did a salad and a crepe, we could also do an appetizer and be good. I think of the appetizers, what about beef tartare? With mustard, capers, shallots, quail egg, and toast points? Lemonade to drink? I'm not sure about that. Let me see what kind of... And escargot is like not gross at all. It literally is just like butter and garlic. Like it's really not a thing at all. In in it's not gross in any way. Like the people who say they don't like, who wouldn't try it, like there's nothing really. Never had escargot. Yeah, it, it's just like they're, they're kind of chewy, but it's, they're just drenched in butter and garlic. That's it. Um, have I ever had caviar? Oh yeah, we've had caviar on stream many times. And in terms of a drink to start, I think a ginger beer would be good. We'll start with that. Um, it's really chewy. Chew, it's chewy. Did they leave polish on my nails and skin? Oh yeah, they did. They did. So maybe for ninety dollars, this maybe. But yeah, they definitely left it on my for sure. It'll go away in a couple of days. Um, it's like a cooked mushroom. That's a good way of saying it. It's like a cooked mushroom. Yeah. Um, so if we did a niswa salad, a complete crepe, and we could just do bread and butter on top of that. Bread and butter, niswa salad, and crepe. I think that sounds pretty good. I think that sounds pretty good. Yeah, for $90 they left. I don't know. I didn't think much of it until you brought it up, but yeah, they probably should have. No, ginger beer is completely 0.0%. Yeah, it was 75 and then I tipped 15 on top. So, 15. Yeah, 15. Um, you did vote, but also I'm the only one eating these things. Um, yeah. It was an ombre, so they had to spray. I know, that's like way more than, you know. It's okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. Right. The poll was escargot, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really want escargot. I kind of just want bread and butter. And I want an, a niswa salad. And I want a crack. And I also want fries. Does that sound right? I think that's the move. I think that's the move. What is Niswa salad? Um, I don't think they took advantage of me. No, because uh, it was a gel manicure ombre. It, it was all there. There was no like... The prices were all there. I just didn't look at them ahead of time. Um, hello, Christina. These are my birthday nails, by the way. My birthday is on Wednesday. Um, beef tartare. I just don't know why uh, it's 15 slash 20. Oh, excuse me. I had a question. So what, what's the difference between 15 slash 20 on the tartare? Large size, half portion size. Gotcha. Okay, sounds good. Could I have some bread and butter to start? Thank you. Um, hello, fellow Aquarius. Hi. Um, thank you, Niagara girl. Um, yeah, okay, okay, I think. Now the other thing they have, don't they have like a, ooh, we could also do a croque madame. Croque madames are really good. They're like, um, it's like a Sam, it's kind of like, 
a ham and cheese sandwich with cheese on the bread as well, like kind of fried onto the bread, if that makes sense. That could be good instead of a crepe. I'd actually be down to do a salad and a croque madame with fries. What does that sound? How's that sound? That sounds pretty good. Am I streaming for my birthday? Yes, I am. Don't worry, I will be streaming on Wednesday. Hello, Lara. What kind of dog nugget is a Maltese mix. Thank you, Anne Elf. My pronouns are she, her. That's my favorite French food. Wow. If it's Ollie's favorite French food, then I think that it's a good one. We, su we can substitute salad with fries because we're already getting uh, a salad with the, sal the Niçois salad. Yeah, I think that this is the move. This is the move. And now also start thinking about it. Um, the, wait, there is no back on this. Thank you. And I think I'm ready to order as well. <clears throat> um, could I start with a, a Niçois salad? And uh, tuna, please. And uh, could I then have a croque madame as well? But could you substitute the salad with fries? Yeah, it's gonna be five dollars difference. That's fine. Thank you very much. You said the croque madame, right? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, the earrings I got off Amazon, and uh, Layla, excuse me, Layla, Lila got them for me. Nugget is high in this brick. Can you see how he just popped up? Thank you, Tracy. How old am I on Wednesday? Do you want to guess before I tell you? How old do you think I'm turning on Wednesday? Oh, I did forget the ginger beer. Oh, he, he's about to pass by again. Don't worry. Although, actually, I kind of like water. Let's stick with water for me. I'm very indecisive today. Ooh, and this butter is like not at all cold. It's perfectly room temperature. I got grub. I got grub. A lot of you got it. I'm turning 31 on the 31st. Mm. Mm. Well, happy birthday as well, Faith. Nicole is 31. Well, there you go. Hello, Jenny Boo. Yes, it is my golden birthday. Exactly. It's exactly what I needed. Mm. It's exactly what I needed. Um, yeah, my server, a lot of you were saying that, yes, that person that you think was my server was my server. Wow. I haven't eaten anything yet today. All I had was a protein shake this morning, so this is what I needed. Thank you, Madeline. Mm. Wow. Something about bread and butter. This really does something. Do I have issues bringing nugget into restaurants? Um, sometimes, but like, honestly, like if you're sitting outside, you're not gonna have an issue at all. Like. I can't, I don't even think maybe more than once or twice in my three years of living here have I like not been able to sit outside with Nugget. Um, there's been some times where they don't want Nugget inside, but I like eating outside anyways, especially on stream. Um, so no, not really, really not, not a problem. Okay. I got some Nugget. Hmm. Mm. Thank you. Just another face in the crowd. I've ever been to Lazy Dog. No, but I've heard of Lazy Dog. They do have a dog menu. I heard that. He really does want the bread. I'm gonna eat all this bread. No, no question. Although we ordered a Niswa salad, which will probably be out pretty soon. Thank you, the sound. Also, we have to decide. It's a very tough decision. Hello, Desi. Um, do we want to go to get dessert here at the French place? 
or do we want to go get ice cream at a really good ice cream place nearby? Because there's a really, there's really, really good ice cream near. No, stop me. I will give you some. You just got to be nice. The fr I mean, we, we've had dessert here before. I remember it being good, but I don't know. Both? I, don't, I couldn't do both. I couldn't do both. I, I'm leaning towards ice cream, like salted caramel, maybe, or uh, no, stop. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. We'll see how we're feeling. We can look at the dessert menu. I think, is this dessert menu? No. Stop. They have like a special dessert menu. The bar is so good. It's so good. Thank you, KL. Nugget is 11. He's a senior. I do have Nugget stroller with me, yes. Hello, Kim. Hi. I know, he's a very cute dog. I'm good, Matt, how are you? Nugget's 11. Thank you, Solar. Um. Do I know who owned Nugget previously? Um, no, he was found as a stray. That's how I found him at the shelter. He was a stray. Um, or at least that's what they told me. Uh, and he is blind in one eye. He's blind in this eye. The one on this side. Um, his other eye he can see out of mostly. But there is a cataract there that is probably going to eventually make him fully blind. Which, you know, we'll, get, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, Nugget was definitely a rescue. I don't know what his life was before this. It could have been anything. Because, you know, he is, um, he doesn't seem to have much trauma. More than any other dog. So it's hard to say. But, whoop. And they do a surgery on cat. I don't know if they can do that. If they could, I'm not, I'm not. It doesn't really affect his life. As far as I can tell. I mean, there's nothing that he does that really requires him to be able to see um, with both of his eyes now. Blind, and blind dogs get, a, get a while, around just fine. Like, their nose is kind of their more powerful scent anyways. Um, more powerful sense anyways. I know, Kim, he is too cute to be on the street. I mean, really, every dog is too cute to be on the street. But, you know, Nugget in particular. Right, bud? Right, it takes you to be on the streets. By the way, um, if you were subscribed on TikTok, there is now a nugget in a stroller emoji if you want to spam it. That's the only thing I will tell the mods not to stop people from spamming is that emoji. Anything else? That we can spam it for now. It's a good emoji. How do I get it? Um, oh, thank you, Sophia Joy. Yep, there it is. That's the nugget in a stroller emoji. It's a little bit small, but nugget has got his tongue wagging out of his uh, out of his mouth. It's very cool. Mm. Honestly, bread and butter is one of those things that like just eat it for the rest of your life every day. Nutrition aside, who's going to be that upset if this was something you had? The only thing you'd eat for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm sorry, Kristen. What's your kid's name? Mm. There you go, Humpy. And that cute. The stroller Nation. The Stroller Emo. And shout out to Kay. I don't know if Kay is here right now. Kay Cosmic? Kay Cosmic is the one who, who illustrated it. Tell Logan we all say feel better. And hello, Justine. Hi. Yeah. Oh, also, I got very good news today. Um, okay. mm. Hi, Bree. Mm. So, good news. Um, we're streaming on Discord. 
I streamed for like two plus hours on Discord today, by the way. Um, I called up my surgeon's office for my bottom surgery um, because I had a question. Let me give you context on why I was curious about this question to begin with. Um, so right now, if, if you are if you are familiar with like hairs in general, um, you might be familiar with a, a thing called a vellus hair, which you might which colloquially is more like a peach fuzz hair. Um, peach fuzz, you know, where it's like a hair that is really hard to see in the first place. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gracie. A few weeks ago, ugh. Losing pets is like the hardest thing in the entire world. I'm so sorry, Gracie. I'm so sorry. When I lost my fin in a year, a couple years ago, it was so hard. It's the worst. Um, so, okay, Nugget, that's it. That's it on the bread. The bread is done now, and you cannot eat the butter on its own. Um, so anyways, um, vellus hairs versus like terminus hairs, I think. Terminus hairs are like thicker more prominent, I think either, you know, light or dark hairs, but like vellus hairs are peach fuzz. So when you're getting bottom surgery, you need all of the hairs to be gone, like all of them, uh, I guess vellus or otherwise, so that when, Sandy, uh, so when things get flipped inside out, there's no hair growing on the inside. Um, so, I, oh, here we go on the salad. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. There we go. This is a um, nice. You'll see nugget, okay? You can see nugget. Yes, this is a tuna. This is tuna. So we got tuna, tomatoes, potatoes, uh, olive tapenade, eggs, artichokes. That looks like anchovies. Seared ahi tuna, olives. It's very good. Um, so, buddy, now that as much as I love you, I'm going to have to put this shield down on you if you want to keep tapping me. We have to learn this lesson eventually, but when I say no, it means no. So anyways, my Vela's hairs, um, I have lots of Vela's hairs down there. I also have, um, plenty, like, less terminus hairs, like, mostly Vela's at this point. Um, so, that means that if the surgeon is willing to do a thing called scraping of the hairs in the operating room, then I'm really, really close. Ooh. My niece hates being called a boy. She is getting bullied. Do you have any advice for her? So by niece, is your niece trans? Is that is that what I'm hearing, Mommy Bear? Because um, really, the advice is less for her, Mommy Bear, and more for you uh, and for their... Is my, is my mic off? No, oh, my mic's fine. Um, the advice is more to you and to your, I guess, um, the noise, mic is fuzzy, hold on. How about now, better? All right, um, it was just when I leaned over, got it. Uh, okay, so, um, Okay, they're trans, got it. The advice is more for you, Mommy Bear, because like they can stick up for themselves. They can like make sure that they tell their teachers and stuff. But ultimately, if you are a caretaker for this kid or you know their parents, like they need to be the ones, like the adult needs to be the ones going into the school, making sure that parents and you know their friends are the ones that are abiding by their name and, and pronouns because you know, kids can only do so much, right? You have to be there advocating and their parents need to be there advocating, talking to the, the administration and everyone to make sure that they're being respected. Because you, as a parent, are probably the most, you can have the most impact, like more than the kid themselves can. Uh, okay, let's try this salad. So I'm gonna get a little egg, a little anchovy. A little olive. A little lettuce. Here we go. Mm. 
Thank you, Dana Marie. Those, those anchovies are very salty. I'm going to take a little off off and out here. As if that wouldn't be any less salty. It's good. It's a very flavorful salad. Mm. Mm. Mods do be modding. I agree. So anyways, um, the thing about the Vellus hairs, we're getting close to the Vellus hairs being, well, it just takes a long time to electrolysis the Vellus hairs because they're hard to see. Um, and uh, sometimes I like to block accounts. Oh, blocking is, is broken. Got it. Um, the surgeon, I, 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 the audio device switched. Okay, is it different now? Is it better when I hold it here? I only believe it when my mods are telling me that there's something wrong. Fiona. Okay. Mike is fine. Okay, good. Um, thanks, I'll be going to the school tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to take her shopping. Good. Good. It was fine? Okay. Doesn't sound fuzzy. Okay. Before, yeah, okay, we're good. Um, yeah, please go to the school tomorrow. Um, the best you can do is advocate for the kid yourself. That's the best thing to be done. Mm. Nugget is not pleased right now. Thank you, Just Another Phase. Aren't they cute? Courtesy of Christian Jackson. Thank you, Christian Jackson. All right, Nugget. You can have an egg yolk. There you go. My son is afraid of the trans parent at school because of her voice is deep. How can I help explain? Um, so, Catherine, good question. Um, I mean, I'm not going to tell you anything mind blowing here. Um, basically, what you want to say is something to the effect of like, First off, there's absolutely no no need to be scared. This person is a um, safe adult that is here to help. Um, second off is that uh, sometimes girls have deep voices. That doesn't mean they're scary. That just means, Nugget, I, buddy, you're going back in here. I'm sorry, you, you just lost the privilege. I will, get, I will give you food if you are well behaved and that's it. You can't be annoying me the whole time. You have to learn your lesson eventually, bud. Spoiled princess. Um, to say something along the lines of some girls, some some adults who, uh, s some girls have low voices and some boys have high voices and that's okay. There's nothing to be scared of. It's just a lot of people are, uh, everyone's different. You don't need to get, you don't need to explain anything about being trans because that's not really honestly very important. Um, the, the important thing is that everyone's different and just because someone's voice is deeper than you might expect doesn't mean you need to be scared of them. Um, all you need to do is say like, um, there's nothing to be scared of. Yes, they have a deeper voice, but they're safe uh, and everyone's different. Thank you, Danielle. Hmm. That was good. That was good. Yes, th by the way, someone was asking, this is seared ahi tuna. So it's like sushi grade tuna that's seared on the outside. Yes. Would I ever go to a gynecologist? Yes, I will once I have bottom surgery. Mm. Um, but anyway, sorry. I keep I keep getting... I see there's a couple, couple of gifts coming through. I'll read them in just a second. Um, so the thing about the vellus hairs, I have plenty of vellus hairs, but the terminus hairs, the, the like thicker, darker hairs are becoming less. There's less of them, um, which is the best thing ever, because now when I go into my surgeon's office uh, next month, um, the people behind his, uh, I called the front desk and I was like, hey, so what does Dr. So-and-so do about um, 
about Vela's hair. It's like, is he, does he need those completely gone before surgery? Or is he willing to like, there's a thing you can do called scraping apparently where like, I guess you cauterize them or something. <coughs> like, would he be willing to do that? Um, and they were like, yeah, yeah, he does that for Bella's hairs. So, um, that means that like actually bottom surgery could be much closer than I thought. Like it could be this summer. It really could be. Which is like the best thing ever. All right. I'm just so excited because I was wondering like how, so every surgeon is different. So I wanted to see what my surgeon's policy on Dallas Harris was, and it was exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah, I hear you, Ollie. I guess what I've heard, and I haven't done enough research on this, is that it can lead to a loss in sensitivity. So, I don't know. The nails are ombre, you like? Are they cute? Thank you to Christian Jackson, who made it possible for me to get these. Can I please, can I, can you please explain going to a gynecologist? Yes, I can. Um, if you have a certain set of body parts, that is the doctor that takes care of those parts. I do not have those parts now, but I will have those parts later. So once I have those parts, I will go to a gynecologist. Okay, a couple of gifts came through. Oh, a lot of gifts. Sorry, I missed these. Okay, this one is at 308, so I missed it. I apologize. Meryl, Meryl D. Uh, Meryl spelled with an A. I've never spelled Mer seen Meryl spelled with an A instead of an E. Um, Meryl said $5, thank you, and said, I'm a silent watcher. Shout out to my silent watchers. Hello, silent watchers. I see you. I know you're there. Um, I'm a silent watcher, but love you and watch you whenever you're live. Good to meet you and i'm glad you're here and thank you to every other silent watcher here y'all are so sweet love y'all um thank you meryl and also let me make sure yep um kia kia sent two dollars thank you thank you so much um for being my comfort TikToker. thank you so much kia you were very sweet Mwah. thank you kia um crate and barrel sent me a spam mail oh wow I want to make sure I say this name right. It could it could be two different ways. It could be either be Delena or Delena, maybe. But I'm gonna say Delena. D-A-L-E-N-A. Delena sent $25, which is insane. That's this sandwich right here. Sandwich. I pointed at it and said sandwich. I know it's not a sandwich. I know I said sandwich, but I'm also aware that it is not a sandwich. It is in fact a salad. Um but uh, Delena straight up paid for this. We'll call it sandwich. Nugget, you need to stop scratching. If you are calm for another minute or two, I will open it up. Okay, you're clearly not ready. You're clearly not ready. Um, thank you very much. You are so sweet. $25 is an incredibly generous gift. Um, I, I, like, I've said it before, I will say it again. Uh, like. I I cannot do this without y'all. I really can't. Um, uh, I do not have other sources of income. That's not fish easy. Um, I do not have like other things that I do, really. I uh, mostly just stream on TikTok five days a week. It's like my, I guess my full-time job. Um, it doesn't feel like a job usually, but like, um, it is, it's the way I support myself and I cannot do it without y'all's help. So thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for the galaxy. Who was that? The sound of snow. Thank you. Those are expensive. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you for supporting the stream. I know like it, specifically when it comes to people who are here every day, it's not, you're not just supporting me because yes, technically the money is going to rent and you know, paying for the food and all these different things. But um, at the end of the day, this stream is for everyone. So if for people don't, I K for people donating to the stream, um, uh, 
you're supporting not just me, but those the, everyone who watches it as well. Thank you, Aunt B. Thank you. And thank you, Delena. Does, does a gynecologist need specific training for someone who's had bottom surgery? Um, it, it can't hurt, but um, also the thing about gynecology is that like that's something that all gynecologists should be trained in uh, it shouldn't have to be specific um i don't know enough to say if it's something that is something everyone does but i don't think i'll have a problem finding a gyno, a gyno in the bay um so anyways um thank you very much delina also thank you to roxy hey roxy what's up girl uh, they sent $5. Thank you. And said, just wanted to give you some love. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Much love, my dear. With a magenta heart emoji. Hello. How's it going? Mwah. You are so sweet. You are so sweet. Um, there's more gifts, too. I'll read those in just a second. I want to take a bite. Mm. Mm. It was really good. Thank you, Roxy. You are so sweet. The tuna is very good. It's very good. It's very good. Mm. Mm. It's a very like I think if I were to do this salad again, I would get no anchovies because other than the anchovies, the salad is perfect. Mm. Apparently someone named Amy P was accidentally muted. Can we get them unmuted? Amy P. Um, um, let's go to the next gift. Oh. I think this is probably Amy P. Maybe? It's someone else. Amy, some... There is a P in this name, but I'm not sure if it's the same one. Um, I know Fashizi, I know. Uh, 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 they sent $5. Thank you, Amy. And uh, said, I couldn't watch... I unmuted Amy. Thank you, Kirsten. I couldn't watch long today, but wanted to show some love. Thank you very much, Amy. I appreciate it. Yes, there you are. Okay, different Amy P then. Or maybe that was the Amy P that got... I'm not sure. Either way. Thank you very much, Amy. I'm assuming you have a busy day. Makes sense. We got Amy back. Don't worry. Mm. 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 All right. Well, here you go, Mr. Nug. We've been behaving. Not scratching at your thing. Thank you for understanding. Yeah. Like, it absolutely... Um, happens and sometimes it's a mistake by the mods and sometimes it's not even their fault it's just like tiktok picked the wrong person to do that they said something else it's very glitchy thank you very much amy much appreciated Mwah. thank you thank you thank you and thank you for dropping by also thank you to peggy hello again peggy i remember you from friday thank you for the gift they sent five dollars and said lots of love nugget you need to stop hitting me i know you're there and I will give you food. You just have to wait. Okay? You cannot paw me anymore. We're training this. We're training you on this now. No. 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 Thank you very much, Peggy. I know, because last time I remember I was talking about um, Peg from the Batman and Robin movie. I remember. Someone asked if anything can be done about the Adam's apple. Yes. It's called a tracheal shave. Um, it's a proceed. No. You have to go a whole minute without touching me. And I will give you some, some salad. Um, Nugget is 11. He's 11. Uh, so, anyways... Um, yeah, tracheal shave. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say no to one, but also I don't really... Nugget, stop. We're going to train this out of you, bud. You cannot touch me anymore. 
You cannot pawn me anymore. I know you're there. I will give you food. You just have to be patient. I know, he's so cute. Trust me, I'm trying my best today. But yes, um, ooh, the croak is here. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Oh, excuse me, I think I had substituted fries for this. Oh, uh, we're unable to do that substitution anymore. Um, oh, he said it would be an extra $5. Oh, oh okay, let me... It's okay, I, I don't need the fries, it's fine. All right. Christian Jackson, I can't say... I, I can say no to Nugget, but I don't know if I can say no to Christian Jackson. Have I met Christian Jackson? Um, not in person, no. I've only met a very small selection of people um, on the stream, um, like from the stream. I've met Dakota, no, good stop. I've met Dakota, I've met uh, Jay. I don't know, I haven't seen Jay. Has anyone seen Jay in a while? I haven't seen him or them. Um, who else? Felicity. I don't know who else. I don't think anyone else. Yeah, Nugget, you need to stop, bud. I want to give you food, but you can't just, like, you're overstimulating. I know you don't understand this, but you need to stop pawing me. Okay, we're going to let this sit for a little bit. I did, well, I've talked to Christian Jackson, yes, but um, met her in person, no. no. There's only a couple people I've met in person. He's just so cute. It's like infuriating how cute he is. And even his little paw taps, as overstimulating as they are for me. How can I say no? How can I say no? I can't. Do I have plans to meet Christian Jackson in person? No, not currently. But if she was in San Francisco, um, I would definitely see her. Hi, for cheesy. Do you think you'll get married? I'm not opposed to marriage. I'm really not. Um, I could see it one day. But like, within the context of polyamory, um, or at least some sort of ethical non-monogamy, I'd be down to have like a main partner who I'm married to, and potentially even um, living with as long as our relationship um, is not entirely monogamous. Um, I know plenty of married poly people. You like my earring? Mm. And I date, I date femme, so women you could say, yes, feminine women. I marvel me, long time no see. Um, all right, Dougie, you have been very good for the past minute, so here's a green. Um, am I still dating Emily? Yes, I am still dating Emily. Oh, she's good. I We have the same birthday, so I think I'm going to see her on Wednesday. Although she's a little under the weather right now. Um, I know. Yeah. So sorry about that. Yeah, you know, it's all good. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. What's the difference between poly and open relationships? Um, so polyamory is, in the strictest sense, going to mean that I can have a girlfriend, another girlfriend, a wife, all sorts of different relationships. Like, let's say, in, uh, an example of polyamory is that I've been married to Lauren for 10 years, and we love each other, and it's super great. And I've been dating Jasmine for four years, and... Uh, Jasmine is married to Bob and they've been married for seven years and Jasmine's also dating Steve as well as me right I'm not dating Steve I'm not dating Bob but we all like there's like a network of people everyone can be dating and 
seeing other people. They can be long-term committed relationships with others. That's polyamory. Um, versus, uh, what's it called? Open relationships where like, if I was married to Lauren, there wouldn't be necessarily dates with others, but more of like physical, more of like hookups and stuff, right? Where there's more, it's more just like physical relationships with others as opposed to um, polyamory where it can be physical and emotional, right? Like it's a little bit less open in terms of emotional connections, but totally fine for uh, physical. Does that make sense? Grapes? Are we talking about grapes? There's no grapes. There's olives in the salad. I'm not going to feed Nugget olives, though. I don't even think he'd like that. Nugget, you've been very good. Here's a little artichoke. So you see, now when you're not pawing me, I'm more likely to give you food. I want you to learn that lesson. Because I do love giving you food. I just don't want you to paw me all the time. What dressing? Uh, it's like a Dijon vinaigrette situation. It's good. Go. Um, I do love the comments that are like, when are you going to get a job? Or someone phrased it very nice and passive aggressively. When you plan on entering the workforce? I'll tell you something right now. If you don't think that streaming is labor, I encourage you to try it yourself. Um, ooh, that's a pit. If you don't think that streaming is work, I encourage you to try it yourself. And much, and more importantly, if you're watching this stream right now, whether you're on the hate subreddit, you know, hate watching it and talking smack or whatever, or if you're someone who genuinely enjoys these streams or anywhere in between, um, you are still getting something from this. Um, at the very least, it's keeping you busy in the same way that a, a TV show might, um, a podcast, no, yeah, stop a movie. It's content. And, um, the hate Reddit subreddit never acknowledges me. LOL. Hey y'all. Yeah. Go, uh, yeah. Hate. I get K. If you want to be acknowledged there, you, there you go. Hate subreddit. Acknowledge K. Also. I have a love-hate relationship with the hate subreddit because at the end of the day, they do come to my streams and, and they're, they're more committed to, this, to their community than a lot of people are. Thank you so much. Um, they're more committed to that community than some people are to the Lily's Lovelies community. So it's like a pretty active community and they do come to my streams a lot. So like, that's not a bad thing. Thank you, Sludge Judy. I love the earrings too. I love the earrings too. Yeah, I mean, you know, I could do with less hate, but I guess they are by nature of their existence. I hate subreddit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They do watch it more than the fans. My thinking is that, I don't know. The longer I do this, fries are good, by the way. Here, have some lettuce, bud. You like that? Mid, he says. Not a big fan. The longer I do this, the more I, like, feel bad for people I've seen in the past or that I've said in the past, right? Like, I'm not a hurt person. I've said a lot of terrible things in the past and done a lot of terrible things. But, like, you see, like, like I, my mind goes to examples of paparazzi or, um, you know, people on the internet who got a lot of hate for no reason. Like, um, the person who did the leave Britney alone stuff, right? They were ridiculed. They, everyone kind of looked down on them. Like it was like a whole thing. When in reality, they were right. Um, it took a decade. Now also that person I believe is a trans fan, but humans like default to ugliness on the internet. And, um, One of the things I've learned is that that's the best they can do. 
in some ways, right? Like, um, this is, these are feelings that they have that need to come out somewhere. And you can't take it personally. So anyways, Kara, yes. That's why I refrain from saying their name because I do believe they are a trans femme now. I don't know if they're a trans woman. They might be non-binary, but yeah. Like I don't like what like what I'm saying is I don't hold it against them. Not 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 care the the haters, right? Doesn't mean I like it. But I really don't hold it against them. Anyways, they never say it to my face, probably. Probably true. Um here you go, Mr. Nug. What I will say is this: if you're on the set, if you're on the hate sub, there's always room for you in our Discord server. I know some of you are already there, but we will welcome you with open arms if you'd like to join us. We have a fun time, really. Nugget needs water. He had water about 20 minutes ago. Don't worry. Fear not. Oh, there's gifts that I've been missing out on. I'm sorry. Let's read some more. Let's read gifts. The last one was Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Um, there's Amy P again. Hello, Amy P. Uh, Lily, your mods accidentally muted me. Amy P, all I asked is what was escargo? We got you unmuted, though. Sorry about that. It happens. It's half of the time, from what I can tell, it's not even the mods like choosing to mute you. It's like they were muting someone else and TikTok got it wrong. But don't even worry. Um, thank you for the gift, Amy. Also, um, thank you to, um, how do I say this name? J-A-L-E-H. Jayla? Jayla is what I'm going to guess. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. Um, Jayla says, hi. Uh, oh, and they sent $5. Thank you, Jayla. Uh, hi, love your lives. Look for them every day. Thank you. Uh, can you please explain like the insurance part, uh, of my upcoming surgery. Yes, I can. Um, let's see. Um, doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Insurance part. So I, my insurance is Kaiser Permanente. Um, Kaiser Permanente, of course. Oh, there you are. Did I say it right, Jayla? Um, the insurance I have is Kaiser Permanente. So um, they're unlike a lot of insurance companies, they are very like internal. They don't, they, they don't like have a list of approved providers. Usually it's literally like all under the Kaiser umbrella, like or Kaiser doctors. And you can only see those. Like you can't just pick a doctor. They will pick for you basically. basically. Um, and that's not how you say it, it's Bushra. I apologize. If you want to give me the alliteration so I can say it correctly, let me know. Um, thank you, Kay. Uh, yeah, let me know. But yeah, so Kaiser is known for being one of the better ones for trans people because it's all covered. So Jayla, maybe it could be Jayla. Jayla, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, I like. I would imagine that I'm probably going to end up paying my out-of-pocket maximum for this surgery, but that's not even that much. I mean, it's a lot. It's probably going to be like five grand, but, you know, unlike other other places where I might end up paying more like 25 grand or more um yeah so uh but it's all it's all covered but uh sometimes depending on your insurance company bottom surgery or other gender affirming surgeries you have to fight really hard to get things covered that is not the case with kaiser and look i'm not saying kaiser is perfect kaiser can be can really drop the ball on things um but so far i've not had too much of an issue with them i've had there's been hiccups but Hmm. Jayla. Okay. I did not realize it was French. Okay. I'll call you JJ. Thank you very much for the gift, JJ. Also, um, I'm not going to read your gift, but I appreciate the uh, the message, Megan. Um, oh my gosh. 
Christian Jackson, are you here? Christian Jackson. Christian Jackson. Are you here? I'm sure she's here. Mm. Oh, really good. The Cork Madame is very good, yes. It's very good. Mm. Hello, Caroline. What's up? I don't know if Christian is here. I know Christian was in the ER this morning because she has COVID and her lungs are really messed up. So it's possible that she's not here. Thank you, little fowl. The earrings are from um, Amazon. So let you know where. I'm so sorry. Uh, that was the worst, Christian. I'm sorry. Um, everyone sent good vibes to Christian, but... Also say thank you to Christian who sent fifty dollars, which is huge. Um, fifty dollars, five zero, uh, and just said for the tip, with her classic waving hands emojis, pink sparkle emojis, and red heart emojis. Thank you so much, Christian Jackson. You are so sweet. Now I've got a question. Um, would you like that to be just for tip, or do you like it to go to the bill as well, like you know up until the bill and then extra for tip? I will abide by either, whichever, whichever you would prefer. Both? You got it. Thank you so much, Christian. You are so sweet. We love Christian Jackson so much. They are so incredibly, incredibly generous. By the way, um, Christian Jackson is a mom and has a star student kid, daughter, who was what, third in their class? Is that what you said? I won't say names or places or anything, but remind me if I got that correct. Oh, good. Awesome sauce? Yes, I, I agree. Hello, Molly. The fries are good. Our fries are good. Christian Jackson is awesome. I agree. Hello from New Zealand. Hi. Um, Nugget, I see you. I've been giving you a lot of food. I just want you to learn that that touch, that, that like pawing me does not equal food. I'm not a food button. I should make an earring line. You know, I don't know if I have the art. I, I just find my earrings from others. So I don't really, I don't really know if I, I don't really have the artistic know-how or anything like that to do it, you know? It would just be like collecting earrings that I have bought from others. Yeah, I'm not a food button. Okay, I haven't heard back from Christian about, about their daughter, but um, thank you so much, Christian. And thank you for these awesome nails. They're so, they're so, I've never had nails like this before. I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I knew ombre, like if you had said, oh, ombre nails, I could guess what it was, but I never knew they were going to like spray on the stuff. Um, it's so cool. Thank you for being so incredibly generous to the stream. Yes, I know. Like I never would have guessed that they were going to bring out the, the little thing. That's so cool. So cool. Do I play women's sports? The better question is, do I play sports? And the answer is no. I do not. Um, what time is it where I am? It is 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Since you have not touched me in a second, here's some hand. Yeah. Um, anyways, thank you again to Christian. Christian, again. You are such a big reason that I'm able to do what I do and have these streams and be able to get out of bed every day and plan. Whoa, that's a big old whale. Lorraine, thank you, Lorraine. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, the, such a big part of the reason that I'm able to get out of bed every morning and just do stuff. Um, get out of bed, plan to go to restaurants, have streams. It's so incredibly nice of you. Thank you. You're so sweet. 
Um, shrimp earrings. Well, the shrimp earrings I bought from Izzy is trash. So if you want to go get those from her, I encourage you to. Um, I did not make those. I purchased them from another creator. So I wouldn't like the thing is like if you wanted me to start an earring line, I wouldn't be able to do anything that I already got because those were those are made by other creators. You know. You know what I mean? Check your Venmo. Okay. Stephanie sent ten dollars. Thank you, Stephanie. There you are. Um, oh, good vibes, Jamie. Sorry about that. You pronounced Kaiser Permanente correctly. Yeah, it's pronounced Kaiser Permanente. I don't know if that was a, an issue. That is definitely how it's pronounced. Um, the other person may have under, misunderstood what they heard. Yeah, it's Kaiser Permanente. It's not Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser Permanente. Nugget, put your paw back. I am not a food button. Um, thank you very much, Stephanie. Stephanie sent $10. Thank you so much. You were so sweet. Thank you for supporting the stream. I am eating a croque madame. I am. I am. Mm. I love it. Nuggets, stop. Okay, bud. I'm going to put you back in here for a little while. I'm sorry about that. But I am not a food button. And we need to learn this. I will give you lots of food, but you cannot just keep touching me for food. Um, thank you very much, Stephanie. You were so sweet. What happened to my dog, Finn? He passed. Um, he was also a senior. I adopted him in 2019. Um, he was a good boy. I adopted him around the same age I adopted Nugget, maybe like eight or nine. Um, and yeah, we had a good three years together. Um, but really, he was, he was, he had, a, he had issues too. He had heart issues. So, you know, there was one morning where things just really went to the point of like, it wasn't at all, he, w he was in pain. So we had to put him down. That was summer 2022, summer 2022. Um, and then I got, and then I waited a while. I waited a while before I was ready for another dog. And uh, I got nugget in February of 2023. So we're coming up on our year anniversary. You know, he did have a loving home. He was a good boy. If you were to dye your hair another color, probably blonde. What kind of dog was Finn? Finn was like a dachshund, I think. He was a little bit bigger than Nugget. Nugget's like 11 pounds. Finn was in the realm of 20. He was a lot shyer and quieter than Nugget. Like Nugget was not, or Finn was not a cuddle, cuddly dog. He was a dog that was also a stray when I adopted him. But like, it was obvious that he was a stray. There was not, he didn't want to cuddle. He like was kind of adverse to physical touch. Um, so, you know, you sent it to the wrong account. Oh no, Dana, how much did you send to the wrong account? You always got triple check because I cannot help you. I wish I could. I wish I could help you if you spelled my name wrong. I'm sorry. It's L-I-L-L-Y, not L-I-L-Y. People will li literally have my profile picture set up so you think you're giving to me, but you're really not. You're not. <laughs> you gotta make sure. Um, yeah, how much, uh, Dana, it wasn't like a, a big amount. I hope it, I hope it wasn't so much. Um, you might be able to cancel it if you call support or something, um, but I wish I could do more. That's, that's enough to be upset about it, Dana. I would be upset, too. Mm. Thank you, Carly. Mm. That's a good sandwich, y'all. Yeah, but still. Still, Dana, that's sad. I'd be upset. Um, is my mic water? I don't think it's anything resistant. Hello, Caroline. Yeah, a lot of hate today. Honestly, though, it's not all that different than normal. I will say in the early days, there was not that much hate. I thought there was a lot in the early days, but there really wasn't. When we had, you know, 100 people watching at once, it would be like, every once in a while, a, a, a nasty comment. It's definitely changed in that way, but yeah. 
Um, they are balloon animal earrings, aren't they cute? Hello, Lady Lynn. I just ha got um, a croque madame, which is a very um, fancy, like, French grilled ham and cheese sandwich. It's not fancy in France. It's very, like, common in France, but in the States, it's fancy. Thank you, Chris, and love you, too. Yeah, silly earrings are very much my vibe. Very much my vibe. Do you get paid for higher views on this app? Um, no, I do not. There could be 10,000 people watching every day, and I wouldn't make a dime unless people gifted. Oh, thank you, RS. That's that's very sweet of you. I'm the only person that that bothered. Well, I'm, that doesn't bother you. I'm glad. Glad to hear that. I do have. Well, someone um, named Amy Stravinsky made me nugget earrings, but I don't know. The thing is that, as cool as it would be to do nugget earrings, I'm not a. I'm not someone who knows how to make earrings. Um. The amount of time and effort that it takes to get earrings made by someone else, and then to set it up and put it on the web, on the on the internet, and blah 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 blah. It's and then the the amount that you actually make per pair is not as high as you think. Um, it pro it just wouldn't be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, Matt. Oh, I'll, 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 here. Let me look at gifts again. Last one was Stephanie. Um, yeah, uh, Megan else, uh, some, they, they asked the question that I just didn't really want to answer and then they got muted on the live. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but thank you for the gift. Um, it was a question that was kind of like getting at something that's a little bit, it was like a question that I just didn't want to answer because it was asking like, it was one of those, like, I, they don't think they're asking an insensitive question, but they actually were. Anyways, um, doopadoopadoo. I don't want to say this person's full name only because it's their first initial and then their last name. So I'm just going to say, A. Hey, you know who you are. Uh, they sent $7 on, I believe, Venmo or Cash App. Thank you. Cash App. Thank you. Uh, and it says, um, love you, Lily. Looking beautiful as always, girl. Thank you, A. You were so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so nice of you. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely vibing with these um, with these balloon earrings today. They were like really cheap on Amazon. Lila got them for me. Thank you so much. Could I have a dessert menu, please? Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Um, it's very sweet. Yes, I'm very much vibing with this style today. New shirt. Jen's got me this shirt as well. Very nice. I'm vibing. Thank you so much. Um, also, thank you to, okay, got it. Crash Matt sent an update. Uh, don't say my name on stream. Got it. I wanted to update you and the lovelies to say I'm doing better than the last time I gifted. Good. Uh, I have the help in place and start intensive therapy soon. Good. Thanks this evening, uh, for, okay. So they did wash it. They did washing up and meal prep for tomorrow. That's good. Love Crash Man. Love you, Crash Man. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing better. Um, also, Jennifer sent five dollars. Thank you, Jennifer. And uh, the subject line is just sending love, sending love with a uh, pink sparkle heart emoji. Thank you so much. You are so sweet, Jennifer. Much appreciated. Sending love right back to you. And Goldie, whoa. <laughs> Goldie, you there? Goldie. Goldie sent $20. And um, their message is a little bit. I'm going to speculate a little bit on what they mean by this. Goldie left for a bit. I do have PayPal, Jazza. It's in uh, my link tree. You can go to my, my bio and it's in the link tree. Thank you. There's Goldie. Goldie, first off, has been a member of this community forever. I know Goldie well. Been on stream a whole bunch together at least when i've been on on discord they've been there plenty of times we love goldie also mod incredible we love goldie for everything and that every 
Well, it's just awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. I was trying to be like a little bit wordy, like a little bit about it, but like, well, it's awesome. That's all I need to say. Um, they said, I'm glad you're eating. My dinner keeps getting sabotaged with a laugh emoji. This could mean that their kids are is stealing their food. That could be it. It could be that there's they are cooking dinner and something is getting in the way. I need to know what is what is the sabotage that is happening, Goldie? Because I really have no idea. Pro kids was my first idea because we know Goldie has kids. Like teens, I think. That's that's the that's the age because we've seen them on the Discord stream a little bit. I get like early teen vibes from those kids. Um. Anyways, let us know. For, and and also thank you, Goldie. I'm sorry that your dinner keeps getting sabotaged. If anyone who's in Goldie's household can hear me, stop sabotaging Goldie's food and let them eat, please. Orders from me. Orders from Lily. Teens are tough. I have a 14 year old. Yeah, I can only imagine. I was tough as a teen. I was very tough. I was annoying. I, I have not rescheduled my spicy date yet, but I will soon. Um, okay. We have options for dessert. So option number one is that we walk from here to an ice cream place and get ice cream. It's very good ice cream. We can get it in a waffle cone. Um, option number two is we get a dessert here. Okay. How do I send money from Europe? Well, thank you for asking. Um, PayPal would be the way. Um, I have a, uh, if you go into my bio, there's like a little link tree there. You can tap that and there's PayPal in the link tree. Um, thank you for, for sending. I'll, I'll check my gifts. And I know another one just came through. I'll check it in a second. Um, okay, so now I want you to keep in mind that these are gonna sound very good, but keep in mind that this ice cream is real good, okay? These are the French desserts. We've got warm chocolate fondant with creme anglaise, cinnamon French toast with berries, maple syrup, and chantilly. We've done that before. Let's go get ice cream. There you go. How can you know when a kid is trans from an early age? Can you tell? No, in the same way that like, um, you can't tell by looking at someone that someone is gay necessarily. Um, they will tell you though, right? A three-year-old, I had someone message me last night that was like, I knew at three years old. He was like, yeah, because gender dysphoria is not a very difficult, let me, let me bring that back. Gender dysphoria is something that some people have very little difficulty recognizing. I don't like when people call me a boy, period. It's not a hard thing to know. I don't like when people call me a girl. A three-year-old can have that thought. A four-year-old can have that thought. Um, there is no becoming trans. You only realize you are trans. You're trans from day one, whether you like it or not. Um, it took me much longer to figure it out. But many, 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 many trans people figure it out Yep, see, LD knew before kindergarten. It's really not a, um, it's not a terribly complicated feeling. Um, now, of course, a three-year-old isn't going to have nuance. Like, they're not going to go up and be like, hello, mother, I am experiencing gender dysphoria. Please, I would like to start hormone replacement. Th like, they're not going to say that. They're going to say, like, mom, I don't like when people call me a boy. It hurt my feelings when someone calls me a boy, right? Three-year-olds can, can form that thought pretty easily. Um, so yes, yes. It's not that you can tell that a kid is trans. There might be signs, right? Like they want to wear different clothing. Maybe they, um, are expressing themselves in ways that suggest it, but ultimately they can just tell you. Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe five more minutes. Thank you. Um, kids are very smart. I never felt like Bailey says, I've never felt like a girl just so limiting. Today. Well, okay. Do you, is there a different name that you would like more than Bailey? You want to try one up right now? You want to try one on right now? You can try any name you want. Let us know. I've known I was bi since. Can yeah, totally. Someone asked, is gender just stereotypes? No, no. Gender is something that, let me, let me, let me phrase it this way. Every person, if putting the idea of gender aside, okay. 
every person has ways that they like to express themselves, be it with what they wear, how they walk, how they talk, all these different things. Um, and those behaviors all are going to fit in a specific category best. We've made the categories, but the categories fit around the way that humans behave, right? So if you are someone who um, feels best under a certain category, then that's who you are, right? That's just who you are. Um, there are certain things about gender that are very flexible, right? Like there's no one thing about that makes a man a man or a woman a woman. Be womanhood and manhood and, and you know, everything in between, non-binaryhood, um, it's, it's vast. And you, there's no like thing you need or don't need to fit in. It's just whatever fits best, right? Um, so is it stereotypes? No, it's not stereotypes. It's not. Um, I wouldn't call it stereotypes. Um, anyways, I think there was another really generous gift that came through. All right, I think we're going to go get ice cream in just a second. Um, wow. Jasmine, hello. Okay. Um, no message here. Jasmine, are you there? Wow. Um, Jasmine sent $37. I think it was just, they probably sent 40 is my guess. And then TikTok, or sorry, PayPal, like probably took a fee, is my guess. Ends up being about $37. Are you there, Jasmine? Well, I see you. And, and I'm incredibly grateful to you. Thank you. Um, that is so nice of you. Uh, it is the, again, just gifts like gifs. It's gifs like this that make this stream happen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Jasmine, I don't know if you're here or not still. You sent it five minutes ago, so there's a chance you've gone by now. But you know who you are if you were the one who sent this. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Jazza, hello. That I think that's I think that sounds close enough. Yep. Hello. Yep. Okay. Queer 24. Yep. Rugby union last. Heck yes. What's up, Jasmine? Thank you. That is so nice. And Ivy, I'll get to you in a second. Um, 30 pounds, that's, that sounds right too. It could have been the, yeah, 30 pounds, right. Thank you so much. Have you, have you been here for a while? I don't know. I've never seen your name before. Either way, thank you. Thank you for making the stream possible. I, I don't have, I have, the only other income sources I have are ones that are based on TikTok, like videos as opposed to lives. Like, Creating content is my whole thing. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jazz. And I'm glad glad to know that you are a rugby lass. That makes me happy. You know, you don't meet many rugby lasses in America. Um, someone asked about their brother coming out as trans and uh, getting used to pronouns. Um, whoever that is, if you wouldn't mind letting me know. Now you say your brother. Uh, I want to make sure that means, you're, you mean that... Um, your your sibling is a trans man, right? They were assigned female at birth and now Ivy. Hello, Ivy. So by brother, you mean your sibling was assigned female at birth and they're transitioning to male? Yes? Okay, good. So you got the word brother right. That's great. Um, you're 90% of the way there. Um, the way to get the pronouns right is, and I've, I've recommended this before, uh, you, you know, I, I, I can stand by this method. It's not terribly complicated. I've seen people have success with this. You look at a picture of the person, uh, at, of your brother, privately, not around them. Hello, Audrey. And uh, you say the pronouns in sentences for a minute straight. So let's say their name is now Dave, as opposed to whatever it used to be. That's Dave. He. Dave is a he. He's going to the store. Dave's a guy, him, that's a man, him, he. And just keep going on and on, just out loud to yourself while looking at their picture. That's gonna help rewire your brain in a way that will make you far less likely. Like so, 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 so much less likely to misgender them. Like more than you would think, even just 60 seconds of this, I mean, you do it, five minutes straight, you're good. But even 60 seconds is going to be huge. Huge. So 
that that is my recommendation. Excuse me, can I have the check, please? Sure. Thank you. Um, so yeah, Venmo fixed the problem. Good, awesome. Glad they did that. Um, and there you are. There's Dana. Dana sent ten dollars. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and they said you're the cutest. Um, thanks for always making my dreary days brighter. Keep slaying, babe, with a, a sun emoji and a pink magenta heart emoji. There you are. Hello. Um, thank you very much, Dave. I'm glad that you got it all figured out with the Venmo. I know, it's so confusing because Lily is normally spelled L-I-L-Y, or at least usually it's spelled like that. So I can see that, I can see why the mistake is easy to make. Thanks so much, appreciate it. Um, much appreciated um and you always correct yourself yes there's another one so someone so uh, jesse makes another good point if you do accidentally misgender your brother um always call even if you say something like um and she, he right like and she right if you like if if there even like a breath of she as opposed to he comes out or like her instead of him even if it's just a little bit trust me they're gonna notice okay and that's fine um always call it out even if you're not sure if they heard always call it out and apologize don't you don't need to like be begging head over heels for forgiveness just say i'm so sorry uh i got it wrong do my best to get it right from you know that was a slip or whatever and just move on um because yes it will hurt it hurts that person in the same way that like you know I think as humans, we sometimes forget that the words that you, that the way you intend words to be heard aren't the way that people necessarily interpret your words. And that if you say something hurtful that you didn't mean to hurt with, doesn't make it less hurtful. Um, so uh, yeah, just always apologize. Yeah. And Tigger, Tigger is a great example of someone who is, you know, did the, the method I was telling you about with the picture and now the relationship with their kid is like a million times better. And we love to see it. Excuse me, Terry, Kim. Sorry. My bad. Um, so, yeah. How do you correct people saying your wrong name? I'm dealing with that at work. Um, well, I mean, other than correcting them every single time, I mean, that's really what it is. Every single time. And be firm. Don't be afraid to be firm, right? Like I've been transitioning. I've been Lily to the world for over two years now. And I've been Lily to myself for almost three, All right? Four, I don't know, it's been a lot. So if someone called me Nick today, and I don't mean the trolls in the chat, thank you so much. If someone called me Nick today, it would not be a Oh, no, sorry, it's Lily. It would be, the conversation would stop. It would be, hey, I am not Nick. And if this happens again, we're done here. Now, it's at work, so maybe you have to be a little, toe the line a little bit more, but be firm. Say like, no, my name is Lexi. Um, I heard of someone doing a thing that, um, am I legally Lily? Yes, I am. Um, it was like they keep getting kept getting misgendered or called the wrong name at like a Thanksgiving dinner and someone brought an air horn and any time that they someone messed up honk because no one wants you to snap at them. You don't want to have to snap at anyone. And if you are firm and strong in your reprimand of them doing it, saying the wrong name, they will learn that if they get, get the wrong name, they're going to get yelled at every single time and no one wants to get yelled at. Now you can also, if you have HR, go to HR or a supervisor or whatever, uh, but stick up for yourself. Okay, let's see, let's do some mental math really quick. Uh, it was, Y'all want to guess with dollars and cents how much it was? Don't guess. Don't guess just dollars. 
dollars and cents. How much was it? I gave a very generous tip. Dollars and cents. Someone got so close. Someone got so close. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's close enough, I think. Yes, that's close enough. Within a dollar. Uh, funny tasting tacos at 75.46. Now, um, for a refresh, we got um, bread and butter, which was three dollars. Um, Niswa salad, which is twenty-two. A croque madame, which was sixteen. And then, um, yeah, you don't need to be aggressive about it. That's that's true. But it sounds like there there comes a certain point where if, if someone keeps slipping up, then you can overcorrect a little bit just so that they understand you know um because even if someone isn't intentionally doing it if they're not putting effort into fixing the the behavior you need to let them know that's not okay um uh so uh anyways but back to it it was um 46 dollars total and i left a 30 dollar tip and that is honestly mostly due to christian jackson um i hope that's a, a good tip christian I, I, um, that was because of your very generous gift. I was, um, just kind of like evened it out a little bit. If that's okay. Um, so thank you, Chris. Thank you for, thank you for that. Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, if you guess much lower, like with, before tip, it was 46. All right, how are we doing on lipstick? Maybe quickly reapply. Christian does slay. Do I watch Drag Race? Race? No, I do not watch Drag Race. Race. Uh, drag Race. I do not dra watch Drag Race. Um, and five on gender reveal parties. I think they're silly, and uh, people should not do them. Just have a um. Bye, Dan. Just have a um. Uh, a baby shop. You don't need a reveal party. Nice enough. There we go. All right, should we go get some ice cream? Ice cream time? Do I ever go to Michelin star restaurants? We have streamed from exactly one Michelin star restaurant. We stream from a place called Kin Cow. Uh, K I N space K H A O. We streamed there a couple months ago, and uh, I've not been back. Um, Michelin star restaurants are expensive, y'all. Not to say we couldn't do it, but um, they're expensive, and um, they typically require a lot of like planning up top. And if I show up and have already pre-paid for a pre-paid for a meal, um, and the reception is bad, or you know what have you, like it's, it's a little bit tougher. Um, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. But, yeah. Um, it is nice to do a treat as well. I agree. I agree. Okay. Ice cream? Let's do it. Thank you again, Christian, for being so generous. That tip was all you. Yeah, stroller nation time. Now is the, now is the time, my lentils. Now is the time. Stroll nation. There it is, Stroll Nation, baby. We're going to get ice cream. You good there, Nug? Stroll Nation. What's up, Stroll Nation? Let's go. Who's ready? Where are my lentils at? Where are my lentils? There, let me look one more time. I always have to triple check. I'm so forgetful. I will always forget something if I don't triple check. There we go. Love it. I just want to say that oh. I watched your TikTok videos. Oh, thank you. Them. Thank you so much. You're very sweet. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Nice to see you too. Take it easy. That's nice. Off we go, y'all.
ice cream time. Stroll Nation. Lentils. We're rolling. We're rolling. We are rolling. Can we see the front of the pram? Yes. This is Nugget in his stroller. One lentil soup. You know, ironically, I really don't like lentils at all. There's not real like I don't hate lentils in the same way. I I don't like um. What's the what's the word like uh, okra? I don't like okra. Period. I won't eat okra. I will eat lentils, but I just lentils. The texture and the taste of lentils. I've never really been it done it for me. If that makes sense. I don't know. Okra is gross. Okra is nasty. Does Nugget get ice cream? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what kind of ice cream I get in the first place. Um, someone's asking about gender reveal parties. I'm happy to talk more about it. Um, if we have a good question to pin about gender reveal parties, I'm happy to talk about it. Um, but base the basics of gender reveal parties are that it's like, it's impossible to know what your kid's gender is when they're born. Um, gender is not something you can tell based on body parts. You can have a strong probability of what it's going to be. For example, it, is, it would have been mo more probable that I would have come out a guy because of my body parts. Um, but it's not definite. Uh, so like... Yes, the majority of gender part, gender reveal parties get it right, but why risk it? Why not just celebrate the baby? Um, you don't need to be so obsessed with gender that you must celebrate it. What what? It, it's you know I think a lot of people are like, oh, there's trans people are so obsessed with gender. It's like, I mean, no more obsessed than you. <laughs> gender reveal parties are so silly. Have a party for your kid once they're able to tell you themselves, right? Maybe once they turn like three, four, or five, and they're like, mom, I'm a boy, or mom, I'm a girl, or mom, I'm non-binary. Then you'll be like, great, let's have a party. But until then, like if my parents have had a gender reveal party for me, that sets up a pretty big expectation. <laughs> I mean, it would have been there regardless, but again, why risk it, you know? Just have a baby shower. Just celebrate the baby. You don't need to focus on its gender. If gender isn't that important to you, then don't celebrate it. All right, let's see. Here are the flavors. So they have a lot of, they're kind of like series. They have an ice cream series um, and it's all dairy free, which is really upsetting to me. Not that I have any hate for dairy free ice cream, but geez, I don't, I much prefer regular, like I, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, the classic flavors, sea salt with caramel ribbons, double fold vanilla, chocolate gooey brownie, salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough. That could be good. Cinnamon snickerdoodle, honey lavender, Strawberry honey balsamic, pear and blue cheese, olive oil, freckled mint chocolate, marionberry coconut, and then also vegan is peanut butter brittle caramel fudge. Now that sounds good, but it is vegan. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I know Dakota's raising his kid gender neutral until they can tell them themselves, which is great. Um, I'm thinking sea salt and cookie dough. How do we feel about that? See, yeah, all, the olive oil ice cream is pretty good. Now they also have all these other vegan. They have toasted oat milk and cookie. I just don't want. It. I just don't want it. I'm just not interested. I know you're mostly vegan. I just don't want vegan ice cream. I like dairy ice cream. Um, I think salted caramel, sea salt with caramel ribbons, and um and salted malted chocolate chip cookie dough. Let's do that. <gasps> they also have cheese with apple pie and cinnamon rolls. Hi there. Could I try the cheese with apple pie cinnamon rolls? 
Thanks so much. Oh, it's so good. He's a Maltese. His name's Nugget. Okay, well, definitely got to do that one. And then, um, you know, I'll try. Could I try the um, the velvet cake? Yeah, we're going to do that one for sure. The velvet cake, this is vegan, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to try one of the vegan ones, okay? I'm going to try one of the vegan ones. Thank you. Dang it, that is really good, isn't it? All right, I'll do that one and the um, the cheese one. Yes. Um, a split on in a waffle con, please. I've had the pear and blue cheese. It's very good, but I don't want it. Right. Autism. My family threw my family threw my husband and I a gender reveal. That's how we found out what we're having. Sasha Lynn. That actually didn't tell you anything. Um, because you can't know a kid's gender until they can tell you themselves. It's like, you can think about it like um, a hair color. You know, because of your hair colors, what they're likely to have. Could, can we do it over here? I've got one. Thanks. But you don't know for sure until they're born, right? And, and, and in the case of gender, you don't know for sure until they, they can tell you. Because your body parts are different than your gender. Two different things. Oh, right. Um, they're different. Sorry, I'm one handed right now. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Here we are. Come here, Nug. I'll just put this. Hello. Come here, Nug. All right, so I did get the vegan one. I did get the vegan one. You can't have this one because it's got chocolate in it. The bottom one doesn't go. Oh, no. It was very sad. Should I get? I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna eat it anyways. Mm. All right. The physics. Should I get a new one? I can get a new one. It dropped on the bench. I think I'm just gonna get a new one. Hold on. Oh, silly. All right. There we go. Okay. I forget. Mm. I mean, it's good. As far as vegan ice cream goes, it's good. Um, mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I would. I probably wouldn't know it's vegan. I do discriminate against vegan ice cream. I will own up to that. This one in particular is very good. It's very good. Mm. Oh, this one's good. Hey, you guys want to go in? Oh, yeah, you guys go in and then wow. I'll watch the bike. Mm. I know, he is a cute pup. What's the flavor? Um, it is, what's it called? Velvet, red velvet cake with cream cheese frosting ice cream. Um, and underneath is cheese and, and cinnamon roll ice cream. Mm. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, red velvet. You can kind of see there. Nugget red velvet has chocolate in it, my friend. So we have to wait until the, the bottom scoop, which does not have chocolate. <gasps> Hi. There's so many cute dogs in this car town. Mm. He is so precious. Six German Shepherds? I have so many German Shepherds. My God. Are my earrings glass or rubber? Um, plastic. They're plastic. Mm. He just wants ice cream. That's it. Mm. I guess that vegan ice cream technology has come around. Do I like cats as well as dogs? Um, honestly, I'm more of a dog person. Um, I don't really like cats. I've had nice cats. I've encountered nice cats, but like, I really just like dogs. I was born and raised around dogs. There are plenty of cats out there that I like, but like, the attitude of most cats, like the cat attitude in a general way of speaking, it's not for me. Thank you, Pace. Dairy free phobic Miss Lily. Yeah, something like that. I, I definitely will admit to um, discriminating against vegan ice cream. Um, definitely. But also I think there is good reason to because lots of it is kind of gross. This one is not. But um, had a lot of bad dairy-free ice cream. No. Do I ever cook or do I mostly go out to eat? These days I mostly go out. Yeah, no, no, no. You're gonna get licks as soon as we get past the chocolate park. Don't worry. I know he is precious. I don't know if, I don't see Mods muting right now, which means it probably isn't working. Where am I located again? I'm in San Francisco. Mm. Mm. Would I marry a man? No, I'm not interested in men. On the weekends I cook, yeah, sometimes. I did make an apple pie, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, it was very good. Very good. Boys can get pregnant. What flavor did I get? Well, we're finishing the top one, which is um, uh, blah, 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 red velvet. And we're about to get into our cheese and cinnamon roll flavors. Oh my God. Hand painted pet portraits? DM for inquiries. Can someone look them up and tell me it's Tracy Illustrations, T-R-A-C-I-E Illustrations on Instagram? Let me know if their pet, their, their art looks good. The flyer looks good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I know Nugget. This is cheese, oh, it's so good. Cheese and cinnamon roll. 
he was waiting. Would I marry a girl? Yes. Or a, um, a non-binary femme and marry them as well. I know, he's very adorable. Have I worked in food service before? Yes. Not like extensively, but yes. Do I like the Spice Girls? Um, I wasn't really a Spice Girls person. I mean, they have that one song I like that everyone knows. Does it taste like cinnamon cheesecake? No, it's not. It's not cheesecake. It's cheese, like um, actual cheese. So it's more cheesy. It's not like cream cheese. Did you want more? You're looking at me. Here. This guy. Is it okay to do? Yeah, I mean, it's not the healthiest thing, but it's also not like toxic for him. And he's a senior dog and he deserves to be spoiled. So, fine by me. I know, he's very cute. Nugget does love life. I do like Mexican food. We actually almost went to Mexican food today, but the reception was bad at the restaurant. So we had room. Nuggets, 11. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I can't have you eating it constantly, but. Yeah, he's living his best life, don't worry. Yeah, there's no chocolate. He looks like he got a bath. Well, thank you, Lila. That's so sweet. Yeah, I know. He is very fluffy today, but it's been a few weeks. I need to give him another bath. Um, mm. I need to do a makeup tutorial. Yeah. I have, um, I've done, I do get ready with me's if you want to join the Discord. Um, I did one this morning. Usually every morning I'll do like my makeup on stream, but just not on TikTok, on Discord. Does my dog have cataracts? Yes. Yes, he does have cataracts. He's blind in one eye. The eye that you can see best right now, he's blind in. The other eye that he's about to show you, he's got a little cataract, so he can't see perfectly, but he can still see out of that one. I will, Angelina. I will. Lipstick name is, um, he's a Sephora lip stain number... Oh, geez. I'm actually not sure what number this one is. Let's see. I'm looking. Did you name him Nugget? I did name him Nugget. I did. He, um, I originally had named him Howard, but then he just, I looked at him one day and I was like, but you're such a little Nugget. So I renamed him Nugget. Technically, his first name is still Howard, so he's Howard Nugget, but, you know, that's not the one I'm wearing. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? here? Here. It's one of the pink Sephora lip stains. I'm just not sure what number it is. Is it this one? Did I put it in my pocket? Here it is. Number seven. Number seven. Honestly, if I had guessed, it would have been seven. Top tip for living alone. Force yourself to leave your house as much as you can. Um, I do, Courtney. There's a good one. Um, do I know any good trans-themed children's books? Yes. Um, you Need to Chill by Juno Dawson. You Need to Chill by Juno Dawson. You can get it anywhere. It's like a little, it's like a will, really well illustrated and well written children's book. Um, like perfect for kindergarten age-ish in that realm, like four or five, six years old. It gives it, it gives like a, it's not like a comprehensive, this is what it means to be trans. It's about a girl whose brother is now her sister. And everyone's like asking, where'd your brother go? And she's like, you need to chill. Like, calm down. My brother's now my sister. And it's like a whole thing. It's very sweet. 
um, You Need to Chill by Junior Dawson. That's it, bud. That's it. Okay. Did you like high school? Um, yeah, I actually did mind high school, especially the second half of it. It was not bad. Um, I was lucky to have good friends in high school. I mean, I didn't like myself, but I had fun. Um, okay. Nugget, you ready to go home? I'll go home. It's about to get dark out, bud. Stroll Nation, you ready? Ready to head out? You ready to go, bud? Okay. Stroll Nation, lentils. We're going to head out, my lovelies. You ready? Close, close, Lila, but not quite. I'm not ready to stay, say stay lovely quite yet. I'd like to go just a little bit longer, if that's okay with you. All right. Okay, so Nanny, two, three boys. My cousin who was born a girl is now 21 and male. Family and, okay, so you said her. But I think you mean him. You, uh, one good thing, if you want to be an ally to this person, to this guy, make sure that you are gendering them correctly even when they can't hear you. Um, because you're talking about a man, right? So you always, always, always want to make sure that you're always saying he, or I'm assuming he, if not they. Corrected it. Great. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that they are supportive. All right, everyone. Um, thank you to all my mods for today. It's been a fun stream. Um, I will be back, much like the Terminator. That I, I, you know, Goldie, I ended up not getting the fitting because I was tired <laughs> again, and I wanted to go home. We'll get there. Well, good, Nanny, to three. Good, good, good. good. Um, yeah, I will be back probably tomorrow. I think I might start peppering in a day off here and there instead of going always five days a week. I'm not sure. Streaming is a lot. Um, but we'll see. Uh, thank you to my mods. Thank you to everyone who gifted. Thank you to Christian Jackson. Thank you to Jasmine and everyone else who gifted so generously today. Christian Jackson, of course, responsible for my new fabulous nails, as well as a very generous tip for the person today. Server. Um... Yeah, I think I think we're about good. Anything else? I have oh, I have cameo. If you want a cameo from me, I have merch. If you want merch from me, um, yeah. Oh, that's it. If you are subscribed, if you subscribe today, uh, thank you for subscribing. Or if you're subscribed and you're not yet on the Discord, the time is now to press the little subscription button and join the Discord, because I was streaming on there for like two hours today. Like about as long as I was streaming on TikTok, I was streaming on Discord. 